Hello students, today we will start our new poem. The name of this poem is The Little Black Boy, written by William Blake. First of all, we will discuss about William Blake. William Blake was born on 28 November 1757 in London. He was an English poet, painter and printmaker unrecognized during his lifetime. Actually, the William Blake who was born in London, he was the poet, painter, means he likes painting also, printmaker, he was involved into printing also, unrecognized during his lifetime, means he was a... Uh, uh, the people didn't uh, know much about William Blake means he was not famous during his lifetime. He left school at the age of 10 and was educated at home by his mother. He also left the school at the age of 10 and he, all his education was at his home and it was given by his mother. His notable works are Songs of Innocence and of Experience, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, the Four Zoas and Jerusalem. This was about William Blake and first of all we will discuss the poem now. My mother wore me in the southern wild and I am black but oh my soul is white. White as an angel is the English child but I am black as if breathed of light. Here in the first line, my mother bore in uh, my mother bore in the southern wild. Bore means gave me the birth. In the southern wild, wild means the forest. Southern means the forests of south. Uh, southern means South Africa. Southern wild means forests of South Africa. So the first line mean uh, the poet is trying to say here that I, I got birth in South Africa. I My mother gave me birth in South Africa. And I'm black, but oh, my soul is white. Just because being born in South Africa, he was given birth by his mother in South Africa. That's why his body is black, but his soul is white. White as an angel is the English child. We know that those who are born in Britain, those who are born in England, those who are born in Europe, because of the geographical conditions of that place, the people who are born in England, in Europe, they are of white color. And the people who are born in Africa, because of the geographical conditions of that place, they are of black color. But uh, but the poet is saying I'm also um, I'm also oh, my soul is also white and we know that we uh, we know that we uh, angels are known if we if we think of angel the white color white angels come to my, uh, our mind similarly the poet is trying to say I'm also uh, my soul is also white. And angel is a angel we consider always uh, as a good one. So I'm also a good person. I'm I'm good as a English child. So I'm equal equally good as a Engl English child. But I'm black as if breathed of light. Because uh, if you think, uh, 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 if there is no light, what will what will it become? black everything will become black as at night when there is no sunlight everything becomes black similarly uh, the poet is saying i am black or means my body is my color is only black as if i am breathed of light breathed means deny even as if i haven't got any light Now we come to the uh, second para. The first paragraph only deals with that the poet is talking that um, how I got a birth in South Africa. So that's why I'm of a black color, but I am, but my soul is white. I'm and I'm as good as an English child. It is only my body color that is black, as if I am. I haven't got any light. Now we will discuss the second uh, paragraph. 
My mother taught me under Natha tree and sitting down before the heat of day. She took me on her lap and kissed me and pointing to the east began to see. His, the poet is saying here in second paragraph that underneath the tree, underneath means under the tree, I and my mother was sitting and my mother uh, taught me a lesson under a tree. And sitting down before the heat of the day, she took me on her lap and kissed me. Or uh, there was a, um, a very hot atmosphere and we were sitting under the tree. My mother took me on her lap. Lap means godi. My, uh, mother took uh, the poet into her lap and kissed and kissed the poet and pointing to the east began to see. What happens in the east? The sun rises in the east. She pointed to the east and she began to say one thing to me. Looking, look on the rising sun. What does the mother say? Look on the rising sun. We know that the sun rises in the east. That's why the mother is saying to the poet, look on the rising sun. There God lives. We, everybody uh, thinks that we have this notion that God lives in the east side. From where the sun uh, sunlight uh, begins, uh, from where the sun rises, we say that God lives there and gives his heat, uh, gives his light and gives his heat, heat away. From there, with, uh, when sun rises, the, with the sun comes the light in this world and he also with heat, with light, we also get the heat also. So, uh, we, uh, as you know, this is summer, nobody likes the sun. Nobody likes the hot sun. Nobody, nobody likes the hot season. But if we don't want sun, uh, if we don't want a hot season, then if we want that there will be no sun, then there will be no light also. The, poet, the, po uh, the mother is trying to explain to the poet that the poet gave us the light. He gave us, uh, uh, he gave us lot of things. He gave us a light. He gave us the heat also. Heat here means the suffering. Be being a black in, in color, Africans suffered a lot. They were discriminated on the basis of the color. So that's why the mother is trying to uh, trying to taught a very good lesson to the poet that the, uh, the God gave us the light and the heat also. God gave us very beautiful things. Never mind if he has given us the heat uh, in the form of discrimination. This discrimination will end one day. This like this hot season will end when the uh, when the uh, when the autumn season comes and when the winter comes, this hot season will end. Similarly, even to if today we are facing the discrimination, one day this discrimination will end. What else God gave us? What else uh, is God doing? And flowers and trees and beasts and men receive comfort in morning, joy in the noonday. Beasts means here animals. And because of the sunlight, trees, flowers, beasts, animals means men, human beings, everybody, uh, they receives comfort from the God in the form of the sunlight in the morning and in the noonday. If it is a summer, we enjoy sunlight. Everybody feels happy. Everybody feels joy that there is the sun. Now we'll discuss next paragraph. As we are put on earth, a little space, then that we may learn to bear the beams of love. And mother, next in next passage, the mother is saying that, and we are put on earth a little space. Little space here means for a shorter time. Everybody in this uh, earth is for a short time. We get a birth, we live few years and after, afterwards there, we, there everybody faces the death. So we are on this earth for a shorter time. 
and that we may learn to wear the beams of love beams of love means the love from the god never complain to the uh, god that this is happening to me this is happening to us we are facing the discrimination she is saying it is also a form of love from god learn to bear learn to live with it learn to sustain it and these black bodies and this sun burnt face is but a cloud and like a shady groove and these black bodies the mother is saying we have got a uh, got a uh, got black bodies and this sun burnt face uh, if if our face if we if we stay longer time in the sun our skin gets red and then it gets black so that's why the mother is saying this sun burnt face uh, we know that african have a dark complexion and their uh, and their face looks as if it's it is a sun burnt face is but a cloud and like a shady groove okay uh, we know that when there is a cloud uh, every uh, everywhere it be- it it, uh, it everywhere it becomes dark when there are clouds uh, everywhere there is a shade so the mother is saying our bodies and our sun burnt face is like a cloud is it is like a shade which protect us from the heat we we want at this time like it's a summer we want shade so similarly this uh, this black body is we can think we can think positive that is it is like a cloud it is like a shade it is like a shady groove groove is as a, a garden or we can say bog shady means which is which is full of shade and at present we would like to go to shady groove to to protect us from the heat so the mother is saying these black bodies and this sun feet sun burnt face don't be ashamed of it it is like a cloud it is like a shade which is protecting us from the heat uh, so as we can have the uh, fair in mind uh, this time that we may get sun burns we may get rashes uh, if we already have a black complexion then you don't have to worry about this thing now we'll discuss next paragraph for when our souls have learned the heat to wear the cloud will vanish and we shall hear his voice the mother is saying our souls the souls of the black people when we have learned the heat to wear when we have learned that we can wear this we can sustain this uh, discrimination heat here means the discrimination from the other people the the cloud will vanish and we shall hear his voice and this cloud cloud here means uh, uh, vanish means to get free cloud here means the body again she is uh, mother is again and again talking about the cloud cloud here means the black body and we all know that body is just uh, uh, body is a body is not important it is just like a garment we know we wear we are clothes but clothes of anybody are not important to us only important what is important to us the behavior the character the nature of that person similarly the mother is saying that don't worry about the your black body be good from the soul try to wear learn to wear the heat learn to wear the discrimination don't don't complain to god that you are being discriminate discrimination this cloud will vanish one day this body will be will be banished this body will uh, will be destroyed and then will come then after facing the death everybody goes to the god we shall hear his voice the god will call us to him god will call us to his place 
saying come out from the groove groove again here means the shade shade means the your black body or your body come out of your body come out of from the groove my my love and care and round my golden tent and round my golden tent like lambs rejoice the the god will say to us come out of your body this if you feel that you you have got a black body you feel discriminated this body will finish this body will be destroyed you will come out of it you will go finally bearing the discrimination on this earth when you will go to the god you will receive his love his care and round my golden tent like lambs rejoice this is a a, a story of a jesus and the lambs okay uh, we know that jesus was very caring towards uh, uh, towards innocent uh, people innocent animals and lamb is a such uh, such a innocent uh, animal so uh, and jesus used to love them and uh, their lambs used to rejoice rejoice means feel extremely happy uh while uh, living with the jesus similarly he is comparing lambs to the innocent human beings innocent human beings who have not done any sin in this world they will be they will go to the god and they will remain always happy there uh, like lambs rejoice uh, in the golden tent of jesus next paragraph thus did my mother say and kissed me and thus i say to little english boy and he is the poet is saying this is what mother my mother taught me under the tree what the mother taught that uh, the sun uh, rises in the in the east and there lives the god god will uh, try uh, don't complain anything to god Uh, if we, if even if we have a got a black body it will or it will vanish vanish it will destroy one day and finally we will go to the god and we will live there together and feel rejoice feel happy the poet is saying uh, this thing again my mother said this, uh, taught this lesson to me and kissed me and he is saying that this is what i will Uh, say to the little english boy even if he has got a white body even that white body will vanish one day when i from black and he from white cloud free cloud here means the body when i am free from my black body and he is free from his white body and round the tent of god like lambs we joy only discrimination is happening on this earth discrimination happens only on this earth discrimination is on the basis of caste discrimination is on the basis of gender caste color people uh, hate others on on the basis of uh, these uh, parameters like caste color creed but all this black body white body everything every caste every gender everything will be finished everything will be destroyed with the death and only soul goes to the god and for god all are his beloved children he loves all his children and there no discrimination will be done there everybody lives uh in the tent of god and feels happy they feel happy and they feel joy like lambs i will shade him from the heat till he can bear to lean in joy upon our forefather's knee knee means good name and they know that our father our jesus will be sitting there we will go to him and we will together lean in joy lean means 
uh, to bend down when other far father comes home if we are little children we used to go to our father and hug him and lean to his knees similarly he is saying that we will lean to the knees of our father upon the leans and of upon the knees of our father and i will shade from the heat till he can wear he can wear means till uh, he learns to, heat here means uh, the we can say thus uh, every, we can say that as the white people they are afraid to face the sun why they they think that they think that they will um, they, their skin will get dark they may have some rashes they may have some sunburn uh, problem so sunburns so he will say uh, the poet is saying that i will shade him from the heat till he can bear till he learns to bear learns to live happily with the other people i will shade him from the heat i will i will there to cover him from the uh, to from the sun uh, sunlight and then i will stand and stroke uh, then uh, and then i will stand and stroke his silver hair and be like him and he will then love me and when he says that when we will go together uh, to the tent of our father jesus there i will stand with the white children there i will stand with the white child who no, who don't loves who does not loves me who does not love me here but there i will stand with him stroke his silver hair i will touch his silver hair the hair color of the white people white child and be like him there will be no discrimination at place of the god and he uh, will then love me and i will be like him so it is a very beautiful poem written by william blake here he is pointing out the discrimination done on black people by the white only because of their black color but the poet is trying to us that trying to explain us that this black body is just the garment is it is not important it will vanish even if you have a white body even if you have a black body it will be destroyed one day what matters only the soul and at the place of the god everybody uh, is same and they lives happily there now we'll discuss about the poem in this poem blake deals with the suffering of the blacks at the hands of white people this is the theme this is the central idea of the poem the blake william blake is pointing out the discrimination white people are doing on the basis of the black color a black child tells the story how he came to know his identity uh, and how he came to know the god the black child is is saying that with the help of his mother i came to know my identity what is his identity he is a son of god everybody is a son of god so it does not matter if and if you have a black body or you have a white body everybody is the son of god and we should live happily with each other and how he come to know came to know about the god what he came to know about the god that god loves all his children and everybody will be same at the place of the god there will be no discrimination at the place of god he tells how his mother taught him about the god who lives in the east and he tells in this poem that his mother explained him everything about the god who how he loves his all children and he lives in the east 